Hi, this is Glenda and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Silhouette Cameo machine to make some vinyl stencils that I use to decorate cold process soap. And these are some of the soaps that I made using them. Um, if you don't have the Silhouette machine, the software is free to download and use and if you have a friend or somebody who does have the machine, you can just send them the file and ask them if they will cut it for you. The first thing that I do is that I start by googling an image. In this case, I want to make uh, a stencil of some birds flying. So I'm going to do a search for that, but I'm going to add the word silhouette because that makes it easier to create a silhouette out of them. And I do use the silhouette software. However, I'm not looking for a silhouette compatible file necessarily. I'm just looking for something that has like this, a solid um, object and just a plain background. Now, when you're looking for images, it's important to know that most of these are copyrighted so if I wanted to use this one, I will need to buy um, credits to purchase it. And I've done that um, sometimes when if I don't find a free version. And the way to know is that you visit the actual website where they might be at. And, and then it will tell you there if it's free, if it's licensed uh, for personal use. And if so, if you plan to use your soap for personal use, then you're free to use it. Otherwise, consider purchasing uh, one. And now I'm going to click download on the right here. And that brings me to the file. It downloads and it shows at the bottom of the screen. So it automatically saves to my downloads folder. So I'm going to open the Silhouette program. And I will create a new file. And from here, I'm going to open the down downloads folder to find that file with the birds that I just downloaded. And this is what it's going to show. So, if you never use the software, let me explain. This square is the screen, which is the mat where you're going to place your item. The measurement of this is 12 inches by 12 so that gives you an idea of how big or small to make the item. In this case, this is far too big, so I click on it to activate the lines around it. And while pressing shift, I'm going to shrink it by just moving the mouse cursor. I need this image to be about 10 inches long, which is about what I have right now. Now I'm going to go to the trace and I'm going to close this. The trace is right here. It's like a butterfly looking thing. I'm going to click select trace area and then I'm going to select the entire portion where the birds are. This automatically fills it with yellow, which is what I want. If it wasn't filled with yellow, I will have to move this threshold and do adjustments. So once this is, it looks like this, I'm just gonna click on trace and it's going to give me the red portion. I'm gonna zoom in. Everything that is red is where the silhouette machine is going to make a cut. So it's going to cut that part. And once I have these red marks, I don't need the actual image. So I went ahead and deleted the black version of the birds and I'm also going to add uh, some wording at the bottom and I'm also trying to position it, center it on the sheet so that when it cuts, it cuts in this position as well. And I did some minor adjustments. I changed the font and the spacing and once that was ready, then I was ready to cut. So now that this part is done, I can send this to be cut by the silhouette machine. And I do that by pressing the send. And I'm going to change my material to vinyl. And I'm using matte vinyl. And I'm going to 
I'm going to show you what I do with the machine. So the machine is already plugged to the computer. I'm just going to turn it on. This is the mat that matches the mat on the screen. It's a this is a sticky surface, so there is a protective film. And I already have some the matte vinyl. I like to use this brand, Oracle 651. It's good to do outdoor projects or things that need to be outside. If everything is going to be for indoor use, you could use Oracle 631. Now to load it to the machine, I'm going to align the paper to this blue line right there. And while I do that, I try to press it from this side to make sure that it's evenly uh, making even pressure against the rod, that metallic and white piece. So while I'm holding that with one hand, with the other hand I'm going to press the lock button on the screen. Okay, so once it's loaded, I like to make sure that it's aligned to this line over here. It's hard to see because it's a clear, transparent film. But another thing I like to do is that I like to pull a little bit and if not very strong, but just enough to make sure that it's that this part is pressing well against it so that it's not loose. So that's loaded. Now that it is loaded, I'm going to click send on the computer. When I do that, the machine just starts adjusting for the blade depth that was dictated by the software. And, then just and once it's finished, it's going to start cutting. Um, I like to remain in the same room with the machine while it's cutting, just in case something goes amiss. Uh, sometimes the mat can start sliding through the rollers if it didn't, if it's not well secured, and in which case the cutting needs to stop. Um, I also make sure that there is enough clearance on the back because the this is where the template is gonna come out of. So when the silhouette is done, it's going to show job complete on the screen. And I'm going to click on load and that will release the template. I mean this. Then I should be able to remove the vinyl. So I'm gonna cut this to be able to remove it. So if you want to create a stencil, like the ones I use for the soap, you will be looking into removing the positive shape, which in this case, it will be the birds. I'm actually making a sticker, not a stencil. I just wanted to show you the process. So in my case, I'm going to be removing the background. So I start by pulling at one corner and then just peeling off. All the background and leaving the birds behind. So theoretically I could use this as a stencil. I just have to either use it right away or put it into a non-stick sheet or paper which I usually have some hanging around so for now I'm just gonna stick it there. So now once I have it here to use uh, the stickers, I just have to put them on a transfer paper. Uh, this is the transfer paper that I like to use and I'll put a link on the description box to everything I've used in case you want to look. So I just sort of roughly measure how much of this I need. And 
and then I'm going to peel this off depending how if you were using this for soap you may not need to use the transfer paper depending how detailed your design is if it's very detailed then you will I'm just trying to align this to the top and after adhering one end, then can, I can start peeling off the backing of the transfer paper. And once it's all situated, I'm going to make pressure. I usually, depending on what it is, in this case I'm only using uh, the back of my fingernail to make sure that the transfer paper adheres to the vinyl stickers. You, I could have used the handle of the scissors, a spoon, or a credit card anything that makes just a light pressure to make sure that when I peel it off it, it's adhered to it oh that one's not sticking and now I'm ready to transfer this to my final item Now to use them in soap, this is how I did for my Pride and Prejudice soap. I printed several of the stickers and I removed the main, like the positive shape and I used the negative shape as a stencil and I'm adhering each one to the face of the soap and I'm using soap dough and sort of I'm smearing it on, on top of it trying to cover uh, the empty space by the left by the silhouette and after I add enough I'm going to try to smoothen it out with um, I'm using right now a spatula but also an old debit card will work or anything that is has like a straight side then I just peel it off and the soap dough remains only on the spaces where there was no vinyl like this so this is it. I hope you liked it and if you have any questions, let me know below. See you next week.